Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Impact in Life TV. For my returning subscribers, thank you for supporting me. All right, and if this is your first time, welcome to my channel, Impact in Life TV, where we make things happen, where we impact life with the Word of God. We change lives with the Word of God. So stay tuned because today I'm going to be telling you about the signs and events of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, stay tuned. Okay, you know, we are discussing about the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and we are going to be discussing the signs and also the, the events of this of the of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, he said that before he comes, the first thing that the last thing that must happen before Jesus comes is I'm not saying that is the it's not that this is the last last thing, but that is among the last thing that will happen and Jesus will come. And that is the word of God being spread all around the world. Jesus said that this gospel must get to the ends of the earth. That men, women, child, children, whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, the word of God will get to you. The word of God will get to the ends of the earth. To every household, to every human, to every man, to every child, to every woman, they must hear the word of God. They must hear that Jesus came and died for the whole world. They must hear that he's coming back again. So it will be a witness to him that every man has heard about me. So you have a choice to choose to receive him as the Lord of your life. Because the primary aim of this is, is for you to give your life to Christ. You know, Jesus came the first time to die for the sins of the world, to die for your sin and my sin. So if you are living in sin and you've not given your life to Christ, the death of Christ is in vain as far as you're concerned. So wherever you are in the world, you have to give your life to Christ. If you are hearing me now, it means that the gospel is getting to you. So it is a witness that you have heard about Christ. So it's left for you to decide who you will worship. It's left for you to decide who you will follow. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father except through me. There is a creator. God Almighty, the Sovereign God, the Almighty God, the one that created heaven and earth and made Adam and said multiply and then every individual came from descendants of Abraham. So wherever you are, whoever you are, you are a descendant of Abraham. Abraham is the father of the whole world. God blessed him with his words. So that's the sign, that is the one of the signs that Jesus said when this happens, behold, I will come because you you will not so that you will not give reasons why you didn't give your life to Christ so that you will not have reasons like like that's what I mean you will not have reasons why you shouldn't give your life to Christ all right so there is the, the word and right now every word is preaching the gospel making sure it gets to the ends of the earth even now that the whole world is is at at lockdown kind of because of what is going on the Bible tells us this so the signs are near whatever that is happening the devil is trying to create fear and panic in the lives of people the devil is trying to come even before his time you know the devil will come but before the devil comes to rule you know to mess up the world in quotes because it's not going to take over the world all right before he comes you know to rule kind of rapture must have taken place and rapture has not taken place so the things that that is seeming as if the devil is in charge is not is a lie is a mirage so i don't want you to put panic so many pastors so many men of god are saying don't panic don't fear because once you allow fear to come faith disappears so you have to know the word of God. You have to know what is going on. You have to know the signs and events of the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because when you know them, you will not be deceived. You will not be mocked. You know, you will know the word of God. You will not, you will not panic too much. All right. So whatever that even right now that every, every almost half of the world is in lockdown because of what is going on, you don't have to put fear. You don't have to panic. 
What you have to do is to give your life to Christ if you are not in Christ. You know Psalm 91 said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. In my God, in him will I trust. Whatever that is going on now, are you in Christ? Do you dwell in the secret place of the Most High? If you are born again, it means that you are in the secret place of the Most High. Because the secret place of the Most High is in Christ. And if you are born again, you are in Christ. Therefore, you are at peace. You dwell it in the shadow of the Almighty. God covers us. So none of those diseases will come near you. Because we cannot, we cannot be careful enough. We cannot take measures 100%. But God can. So when you when, when you are in Christ, when you are in Christ, you are protected from all evil, from every plague. Because the Bible said that no evil shall come near us, neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. But we will see and hear with our eyes what is happening to the world. So wherever you are, I'm urging you to give your life to Christ. Because this is a science of the end time. This is the events of the end time. But see, it's not yet time for the devil to take over the world. No. Rapture has to take place, and before rapture takes place, people must have heard about the Christ. No one on earth will remain that will never hear, that will, that will not hear about Christ before Christ comes. And after that rapture takes place, the children of God that are ready takes place, they go up. The Bible told us that two people might be in the office, one will go, one will be left out. Two might be in the farm, one will go, one will be left out. Two might be in the bus, one will go, one will be left out. Where will you be? You have to be ready for rapture. You have to be ready for the, court, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And these are the signs. But guess what? We have to take over. We are still taking over. We are still domineering. We are, the, we are the people that will make sure there's no fear or panic in the world. We have to continue to preach the gospel because there are so many people that have not heard about the word of God. There are so many habitats that have not heard about the word of God. So we have to keep sharing and spreading this good news that Christ came to die for every man that whoever receives him will not die again but have eternal life the eternal life that you receive when you are born again is the evidence that you are a child of God so whether you are dead or alive when the trumpet blows you will meet him up in the earth the Bible said when the trumpet blows when the trumpet shall sound he said that those that are in Christ that are dead are the first to rise they will, they will rise from the dead because they have eternal life in them. You know, the, the, the death, death can only kill the body and not the spirit. And the spirit that you receive as a child of God is the spirit of God, which is unkillable, indestructible. Do you understand? So when you receive that, when you are in Christ, that means when you are born again, you receive Christ. So the evidence that you, you are in Christ, that you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, is the eternal life that you have. So whether you are alive or dead when Christ comes, you will rise and will meet him in the earth. The Bible said that the dead will, will rise first. Then the living will follow and will meet Christ in the air. And from there, we will come together. That is what the Bible said. We will come together in the world. So imagine when Christ rules. He is going to appoint people over cities, you know. So what, what we are doing today for him will show or will tell what you will do for him then. Because he's going to appoint people that are capable. People that have shown of a great truth they are, they are capable when we are living on earth. That is now. So whatever that you have, you have to, you, if, number one, if you if not giving your life to Christ, you have to do it now. And I'm going to do it at the end of this video. Then if you have given your life to Christ, we have to fight this battle. We have to win this battle. We have to spread the gospel. We have to tell people that it's not time to panic. It's not time to fear, but it's time to, to spread the gospel. It's time to tell people the, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is to give their life to Christ, which is to come in Christ. That's where peace. That's where they will rest from their struggles. They will have peace of mind because Christ has done all that we should do. He was nailed on the cross. He died that we will not die again. He has suffered all the sufferings. So we, as, we, as we take Christ, as we preach the gospel, men are turned to righteousness. Men are turned to Christ. You know, people think it's so difficult. It's not difficult to be a child of God. The only thing is to confess Christ as the Lord of your life. 
Because Jesus said, if you deny me on earth, I will deny you in heaven before my father. But if you accept me, I will be bold to talk about you, of course. That you will go to hell today is not because of your sin. It's because you did not give your life to Christ. Because the sin has been dealt with. Christ died and dealt with sin. The Bible told us that when he died, because as a sinner, when he came, you know, he came to die for our sins. So he died as a sinner. And the Bible told us that when he went to hell, he beat the devil hands down. He made a public show of the, of the devil. And he resurrected on the third day. And ascended to heaven and sent the Holy Spirit to be with us and continue the fight until he comes back again. So we have to preach the gospel. There's a singer that said, in spite of all, our faith is standing strong in spite of all. We will fight this fight they think we are done. We've only just begun. The church is marching on in spite of all. In spite of all, we have only begun. They think we are done. We are not done yet. When we will, when we will be done, Jesus will come. So we are not done yet. Until we are done, you will know. So let's preach the gospel. Let's spread this gospel. And let's spread it with love. It is called good news. Tell men that Jesus loves them. Spread the gospel. Tell them that Jesus loves them. I saw a video on YouTube. People were parading. They, the way they dress, you know, with some costumes, blood all over their body, horns and teeth like that of a monster. And they, they wrote uh, satanists. As in, they were bold to walk around the, the streets. And there's a man of God that walked up to one of them and told him his story. And he repented and gave his life to Christ. Wow, wow, wow. Men are living in ignorance. They don't know about what we know. So we cannot, we cannot keep it to ourselves. We have to spread this good news. We have to tell people what Christ has done. Christ loves the world. No matter the sin, no matter what you think you have done, no matter how many people you think you have killed, no matter how many things that is bad that you think you have done, that's not what Christ is looking at. Because Christ has dealt with those sins. Christ has dealt with that nature. The devil is fighting, the devil is fighting up you without your knowing it. He's playing with your intelligence. You don't need to self-condemn yourself. Jesus said, come unto me, ye that are heavy laden. Come unto me and I'll give you rest. Jesus loves you. You know who can die? Who Have you seen anyone die for anybody? For the, not for anything, because some people die because of love, some people die because they want to give, uh, donate some part of their body, you know, their, for their loved ones, okay? No, this is someone died for not knowing who you are just because of your sin. He paid for your sin. No one has done that. He paid for the sins of the whole world. That means he loves us. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave us his son. To die for your sin and my sin. Therefore, we are free from sin. We are born free. When you give your life to Christ, you are born free. You are made free. So you shouldn't live in bondage. You shouldn't live in self-condemnation. Get out of that nature of sin. Stop that and give your life to Christ. Tell him, Lord, I accept that I'm a sinner. And I believe that you came to die for me. Accept me even today as I live all my bad uh, uh, life I come to you today. Come and be the Lord of my life. Come and be my Lord and personal Savior. Take charge of my life today in the name of Jesus. So say this prayer that I've just said. And you, that means you are already born again. If you, have, if you have said this prayer that I've just said, it means that you are born again. You have given your life to Christ. So the second phase is to read the Bible and know what it says, or all right, and know what you have to do and what you know you don't have to do, so that you'll be ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's at hand. I was talking to a fellow in the office. He said, "I don't believe that it is in my time that Jesus will come. I don't believe that it's in my time that rapture will come." 
brother, nobody believes that. Nobody knows. But when you are alive and you're seeing the signs and events coming, why would you believe it? Why would you accept the faith that is in our time? And glory be to God because we know the word of God. Therefore, we will never be deceived and we will be ready. We will be ready in the name of Jesus. We will not miss the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the signs and events that must take place. And when this is happening, when, the, you, are, you, when, you, when you keep hearing the word of God, when you continue to hear the word of God, in the news it is there, in the radio it is there, on the streets you're seeing people, on YouTube it is there, just know that the coming is at hand. Because Jesus wants to make sure that everyone hears about his coming. Everyone knows who he is and who God is. It's until you don't accept him, it will be your personal decision. It will be a personal decision that made you to miss Jesus. Not because of ignorance, because he said he will make sure that every ear hears about it. So what are you doing, brother? I was saying in my old video, the video I had last time, about hell. Hell is not a place for any human being to be. That's why Jesus wants to make sure that nobody makes hell but heaven. That's why he wants to make sure that everyone hears about this good news and repent and come to him because that's the place the best place to be brother the bible told us what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and loses his soul nothing i don't know how, how would you love to enjoy your life halfway and then the rest of the life you, you you regret it people say there's no life after this there is after living on earth we have to continue living in the as a spirit being the Bible told us that there will be no dying, there will be no sickness, there will be no day, there will be no night. It is going to come. And I want you to believe that because it will happen. It's all, because the things that they told us in the Bible, including this one that we are saying, some of them are already happening. So why are you telling me that the remaining will not happen? The Bible is true. The Bible is true. That is the word of God. And God loves us. That's why he's making sure still living time, you know, still giving more time for men to come to him. And my pleading today is for you to come to Christ if you have not. And if you have, share this video. It will be part of the propagating of the gospel. It will be part, it will be, it, it is a responsibility that you share it. So that men that will hear it will be, will come to Christ because you shared it. Okay? So it, it, it is a, is a, is a personal decision that you come to Christ. It's not a forceful thing. It's not like, repent or you die. No. We are saying that you repent because it is the right thing for you to do. It is the best life for you. The best thing that has ever happened to a man is the salvation. The salvation of his soul. If he gives his life to Christ. The life that when you give your life to Christ, he imparts into you eternal life. That is the significance that you are a child of God. So wherever you are, life or death, when he comes, you will, you will move with him. So I would love you to come to him, even now. Or share this video to someone that you think, or to some groups that you think will need this video. We have to spread the gospel. And I've done, and I'll continue to do mine. I'm done. You're not born again. And you want to give your life to Christ. Just say this prayer after me. Dear Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus as a sinner. I believe that Jesus died for my sin. And today I accept the truth. That he is the way, the truth and the life. And therefore, I give my life to him. Lord Jesus, come and be the Lord of my life. Come and be my Lord and personal Savior. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the kingdom of God. If you have said this prayer, you have taken the best decision anyone can take in this life. So welcome aboard. High five. Alright, see you in my next video. And before then, continue to live in the atmosphere of miracle. Bye-bye.